Hello everyone, this is Chris with StickerFab. Today we're going to do an install video, a quick installation video on the Bronco Sport. We're going to just overlay the R. Um, I'm working through these templates. Um, one of my friends sent me a message from a Bronco Sport group, said that someone ordered letters from two different vendors and they both had really bad fitment. So I'm going through letter by letter and really looking into these. Uh, so the whole template will take a little while, but for those that just want that Bronco R done, because I know Ford's released some vehicles and you see them with the grill letters with just the R done, well, we're going to do that video first since I've gotten that done. So I've knocked out the front O, uh, so I got R-O-O, -O, really. Um, now the chiclets, or these uh, little emblems on the front of the Bronco, um, they have a lot of dimension to them. Not only are they curved this way, they have little indentations before they go straight in. So they're a little bit different than the full-size Bronco. So you may have noticed uh, maybe vendors are trying to make their templates based off of photos of the grill or something else, uh, dimensions that were sent to them. But I'm going back and forth, printing and adjusting. So we make sure we account for that curvature and that we get kind of an even spread right there. Um, it won't cover that edge because it is vinyl. We just want to cover that front uh, surface and trying to keep it uniform through there. Um, and just go up to the edge the same way we do in every uh, corner. So I'm gonna rip this off. Um, I'll go grab some stuff. I just installed that. So I'll grab another R and some cleaning stuff and meet you guys right back here. All right, so let's see what we're working with. Uh, you will be sent two uh, R's in whatever color you choose. Um, I like to let you guys become familiar with the vinyl and how it works. So just giving you a spare in case you need that. Um, you won't be sent this. You can lick the back of the stickers because they're small or you can get a little spray water bottle or just a bowl of water and put like one or two drops of hand soap or dishwasher soap in them. But I fill this little bottle that we have on our site all the way up to here with just like a drop or two of dish soap. It works real well. It allows me not to commit to the initial placement. Uh, if I'm off a little, I could just move it around, wait for it to dry or use a hair dryer, really light heat, heat that won't burn your fingers. Uh, that's kind of what I used to judge it. If it doesn't hurt me, probably won't hurt the vinyl. I let that dry out or put the vehicle out in the sun, uh, wait for it to get warm and then push any corners down around the edges, making sure it adheres uh, really well. Um, I have a microfiber cloth. We have really cheap ones on the website. Um, this is not one of those, but similar. Um, and what I use to clean the exterior, Usually is this uh, Chemical Guys Speed uh, Wipe. I think it's like $10 or less on uh, Amazon. Um, it doesn't have uh, like any wax in there. So I don't think it leaves any residue and that's really important because we're trying to get that vinyl to actually adhere to this. If you want to get really, really clean, you can take like a little alcohol pad, uh, isopropyl alcohol mix and um, dilute it and you know, clean all the application area. I like to clean the area all around this. So my, my mother-in-law and father-in-law took this vehicle um, on a trip and they haven't washed it since it got back. So I kind of like to clean the entire application area uh, in case the vinyl comes into contact with anything. Then take your R, peel it off, make sure it doesn't stick back on itself. By the way, it's 70 degrees right now. I like to apply these vinyls in around 70 to 80 degree weather. Um, adhesive, if you guys didn't know, some people don't, um, doesn't work uh, really well uh, when applied in cold weather. And when you try to apply it in cold weather, uh, you can kind of ruin the adhesive, just smash it down and then it won't want to adhere to anything um, because it likes to be warm. Um, that was actually really great initial placement. Um, curved right here, covers that edge. Um, but I did spray that mixture so that if I didn't get it right, I kind of move it around or I kind of peel it up with it, not um, 
adhering immediately. And that water, water also allows me to push out any air that got trapped under here. Some of our other vinyl, like the 3D Carbon, actually has air egress channels, um, but these simple colors, they do not. So the water allows you to transport that air out from under the vinyl. I've dried that all off. The sun will bake this on, and before I drive the car, I'll kind of push down all those corners, make sure they're adhering really well. Now, let me step back so you guys can have a look kind of at the finished product. These things are only like three bucks on our website. So if you just want a simple modification, uh, this will work really well. All right, there we have it. Our iconic silver uh, Bronco Sport with just that red R overlay. Very clean, very simple. You can find it on our website. Please let us know if you guys have any products you want to see us do. Uh, we are going to complete that out and also do the rear, of course. Uh, but like I said, I'm going letter by letter and making sure everything is precisely the way I want it to be. Uh, of course, it'll take a lot of time to do that on the front end, but the result is every customer moving forward will have, you know, something that's really close to perfect. Um, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell notification icon, and you'll be sure to get notified of all the latest and greatest things we come out for, uh, mainly right now, the Bronco and Bronco Sport. Thanks a lot for watching.